Okay, so it is July 5th, 2019. Actually, July 6th, 2019. This will be the first update that I've done here in four months at the farmhouse. Uh, finally, have a lot of progress done since the last time I updated. Things have gone slow at times, fast at other times. Right now, we're at about 98% done. So I'm standing right now, I'm standing in the driveway about 100 yards from the house and you can see the excavator equipment there. The last couple weeks they've been out here just clearing the landscape. Now from where I'm standing before you wouldn't have been able to see anything a couple weeks ago. They've pulled out the fence line and went up and down the highway and cleared out all the brush growth and debris from there. Also, here up along the driveway, this whole bank was just completely filled with uh, uh, brush and trees that have grown up over the last 30 to 40 years. I picked a couple of nice trees like this cherry tree right here. And this is actually a huge persimmon tree. Um, I picked a couple of nice trees and saved them. And then they're shaping the bank so that the water will flow where it needs to. There's an old culvert pipe here that, you know, we didn't even know it was there. But it was completely, completely compacted with mud. They'll pull that out, dig a new ditch, put a new pipe in. But that had caused the bank to wash out. They're going to widen the driveway down there at the mouth a little bit. Now, the driveway itself, uh, I've got, this is, uh, this loop here more or less follows the path of the original driveway that was at the house. Now I've got two little parking areas put in up here and so there's enough for five or six cars which hopefully should be enough for me. There's uh, three right here by the entrance another two or three up the hill where the ATV is. And see this walnut tree there um, that it's an old tree I marked them to save. That was basically on the edge of the field and um, they've sloped that bank so the water will drain not coming down on the driveway it will drain into the culverts uh, on either side but um, there was an old chicken coop in the outhouse um, the outhouse that had I guess served this house so those things have been gone for years but the foundations were there and then they were old paradise trees and stuff that had grown up through there all that stuff was cleared out now uh, a few months ago there have been some people who actually lived in this old house come up and talk to the building crews um, and I went up and introduced myself down the road to a guy it turns out he's actually born in the room that's got the bookcases on the first floor on the other side of the house back in 1940 so he's almost 80 years old he's basically uh very very sick with um health conditions um but i told him you know when everything's done basically we'd have him and his family up here to the house um one of the his younger sister who's probably 20 years younger than him uh, was with him when i met him and told me that this house didn't have running water until like the 1960s, late 1960s. Um, anyway, there had been a well pump on the other side of the house. So I wanna go over the progress that's been made here. Now this here is huge and this actually slowed everything up um, because of the contour of the land. One of the original problems with uh, the house that uh, caused it to go vacant was the original addition. So the, fir the front part of the house uh, two up and two down the original four rooms um, those are original now on the back here you see a breezeway and an addition um, two floors uh, before there was a one-story addition pretty much on the same footprint that could not be saved there had been due to water there was no foundation under it um, due to water damage coming down the hill and then termites had gotten into it and that's why the house had gone empty so in order to prevent that from happening again, the new addition is put on a crawl space um, and there's a retaining wall. And when I saw, you know, the plan showed that there's going to have to be a retaining wall 
I decided it'd be a good idea to put a patio back here as well. And I think this looks absolutely great. We had a guy under contract to do it. He didn't show up. You know, contractor couldn't get a hold of him. So after a couple weeks of not hearing anything, we put it back out to bid. A couple weeks later, we had somebody else hired. Then the first guy showed up. Uh, contractor had to tell him, no, we got somebody else now. But then we had to wait another month for that guy to come back out. Um, but he did an amazing job with it. Um, I think it just looks absolutely great. And the patio, the back stoop and everything there. I'll put a table out here and um you know be able to come out here and you know eat lunch and chill out and stuff now back here on the other side of the house they're still working on the grading here i said we're 95 percent done the last five percent on the outside the only thing remaining to be done is just to finish grading back here i had them clear a lot of the lot on the other side it was uh for just brush and debris you can see the some of the trees there in the distance have like ribbons around them. I uh, the, put the ribbons around. Those are, you know, nice looking walnut trees that I didn't want them to get rid of. So any tree that has a ribbon, that's how I told the excavators to leave it. So um, the outside painting on the house now is completely done. And I think they did a great job with that too. They're very careful. Um, I had had a different painter out here who just did the original window sills before they put the storm windows on them I mean that guy made a complete mess he was a prospect for doing the rest of the house but he made a complete mess and did a terrible job so um, you can see the lattice now is in place under the porch the porch is completely done painted uh, the walkway and stairs are done I think they look outstanding the front walkway the new stairs uh, the only thing that's missing out here is the railing um, needs to go up and down the stairs and we're currently trying to uh, find somebody to do that uh, the outside paintings done the shutters are up um, and um, I think that everything looks great out here as far as that goes um, so we'll also have to have some landscaping done mulch in the space between the walkway and the house but um so now coming up into the entry take my shoes off so last week they redid the floors in here and they got to put the shoe molding down so this side entry foyer this is 